Hello again and uh, now it's time to add some login functionality to our app. Uh, we need to add a slash login view and then inside this view obtain a token pair, uh, access token and the refresh token and return it in the response object to, uh, to the request sender. And then we need to just uh, quickly test it. Uh, let's just go ahead to our code and see what we left uh, off. So we have this register user view and uh, for simplicity and uh, to show how uh, uh, this uh, thing can be implemented with the uh, decorator of uh, API view. Uh, I'm going to use here as um, uh, as a simple API view decorator and we need to uh, of course uh, to import this. Uh, so from REST framework decorators import API view and do like dev login and, and it will accept a request. Whoops, request. Uh, right. Uh, first thing, uh, of course, we are going to log in with our email and the password pair. That's why we are going to uh, request dot data dot get email and then password and. Uh, uh, if we get the email, that means that uh, we need to obtain uh, or uh, get uh, uh, the user from the database with this email. Uh, that's why we need to call the get user model objects and the filter uh, use email equal email and the first it will give us uh, the user. And uh, quickly check if uh, this user exists or not. If user is none, and then it means that we need to raise an exception is authentication failed with user not found uh, error and this uh, mm, exception should be imported uh, from the rest framework let's just quickly from rest framework import exceptions and raise it uh, the second check is if uh, the user match uh, the actual user in the database. So if not user check passwords, that means that incorrect password uh, uh, was passed. Uh, the next thing is uh, we need to construct uh, the response object and I want to uh, import this from the REST framework response, from REST framework response, import response. Uh, this is an empty response object and we need to get some token pair and of course the email and return it uh, from the response data. Uh, so uh, basically for getting the token pair, uh, we are going to construct the token endpoint uh, using the reverse and then uh, using the request, request package uh, calls a, uh, sends a post request to this endpoint. So reverse is uh, also need to be uh, imported from uh, Django URLs or from the REST framework reverse. Uh, this is uh, the same thing and can be used here. Uh, of course we need to import the requests package as well. This is a, a standard way of sending the uh, sending the, uh, the requests. So import requests and what we did here uh, we use this view name token obtain pair. Uh, if you remember uh, for our um, <laughs> uh, general URL spy uh, we have this API uh, v1 talk slash token slash. Uh, this is uh, using this simple GBT uh, built in view and we named it token update pair. So that's why this name is quite important. You can do, uh, uh, you can construct the endpoint using the reverse with the view name uh, when you specify it in, in, in the URL spy. As uh, the rest of things like uh, we obtain the tokens. And we need to uh, construct the response data. So response.data is equal to the access token. We will, uh, we will get the access tokens through, uh, from the tokens, return tokens object, uh, return tokens dictionary. And uh, then uh, the refresh to the token is the same and the email is user.email. Uh, this can be uh, like fast email if, uh, if it's it goes uh, well then uh, there, there will be no uh, exception here and that's why uh, it's okay uh, to use the email directly or user.email and of course we need to return this response uh, so basically that's it we have here uh, the remaining thing is like uh, 
import this login and uh, register our uh, login endpoint in the URLs. Nice, and use the login here. Uh, fire up our development server. Where is manage by? Ah, no. Uh, we need to go to backend and the Python manage by run the server. No module main request. Oh, maybe uh, we need to install it. Install requests. Okay, and nice. Let's quickly run server and check if it's uh, if it works or not. So localhost uh, eight thousand and API v one and login. Um. No, message get not allowed here, but content. Ah, right. Uh, so it will. Where is it? options I need to get to um, to get to this um, admin whoops sorry about that um, hmm, 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 admin like mm -hmm. um, inside the users uh, so we have a bunch of users list up uh, let's just uh, bring uh, one of them and construct a JSON here and uh, this is this is an email with um, with this one and this should be the password Oops. with I assume this this is the password and let just post it uh, right amazing so if if you uh, notice that uh, we get we get back um, uh, we get back uh, our access token and the refresh token and the email uh, as a response uh, with a 200 okay a status code that means that uh, we have already obtained our tokens and let's just quickly wrap up here yeah? so as you see we have constructed this object and the same thing we get back as a response object so uh, in fact our login endpoint works so basically with the G JWT or GVT we pass uh, the email and the password and uh, we need to send back these tokens uh, to the front end side and uh, then the front end uh, takes these tokens uh, store it in the local storage and send uh, in the headers uh, with each request so that's it for our back end side I need uh, I think that we need to uh, to integrate this uh, to the front end side now. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.